So here is the setup for testing the PMG at higher RPMs. So the setup is, uh, so I got the LPG gas, that's the source of energy. I got the petrol engine. Then I have the PMG. Uh, and now the the velocity ratio is, is uh, higher. So that means this will be spinning at almost the same. Um, so the PMG will be spinning at almost the same speed as the petrol engine uh, at maximum speed. Uh, then from there, so because of the high RPM, we are going to have um, high voltage output, more than a thousand volts. So from here, I have this uh, double pole. So the double pole is currently off. Uh, that is the one that connects the, the PMG to everything else. So from the double pole, I have these transformers. Uh, I've wired them in series parallel. Uh, if you'd like to see more, to know more about that, you can leave a comment and I can do a video on that. So from the transformers, um, I have the, the load. So the load that I've opted for this time is this uh, welding machine uh, because I'm only able to get up to, um, I think 154 volts uh, once the voltage is stepped down. So I think this is better because it's going to put a maximum load on the output and we can get a, a better figure about the maximum uh, output. So I've got this, um, inverter igbt welder uh, charging this battery so i've i've dialed the the knob to the end the maximum and that means you're going to get the maximum power out going into the battery now there may be a lot of current but um you won't do it for so long so it won't it won't damage the, the battery uh regarding the regarding the meters so this meter is going to measure the ac current um that is being delivered to the load from the transformers and this meter is going to show us the AC voltage and the frequency in hertz uh, so that we can also see whether the PMG is going to slow down and how the voltage is going to behave. Uh, so I'm going to get the, um, the petrol engine spinning at maximum speed uh, and then we will see uh, how, how it performs. So you have the petrol engine running and running at the maximum speed, which means uh, the generator as well. Uh, the temperature it's it's cold. Uh, it's not getting any warmer because there's no load. We currently have zero amperes going to the load, and we have uh, 161 volts output. And uh, I'll do a calculation at the end of the video to to show the, the voltage that is coming out of the, of the PMG. And now I've switched on the welder uh, and you can see now we have current draw and uh, some voltage draw. And uh, towards the end of the video I'll also take some screenshots from this to calculate the output power to the, to the load. So I also tried to do some welding and uh, as you can see uh, it can weld uh, although i think it will it will do better at welding once i'm able to get it to output 240 volts uh, because then we are going to have the ability to do higher currents up to the maximum uh, but i would say we are delivering a considerable amount of power right now and it's actually possible to do some actual welds um, as you can see and it, it it's also possible to maintain the arc because of the um, of the the flywheel um, otherwise the the petrol engine itself would not be able to maintain this but the flywheel stores up the energy and releases it so that we're able to maintain the arc so after doing all that work um the pmg is is barely warm it's barely warm to the touch the the transformers are also barely warm so i would say it's a it's a pretty efficient process uh because i think the maximum current we are getting out of this 
is around one ampere. As you can see with no load, uh, I'm only able to get to 161 volts and an output frequency of 226 hertz. So from the video that looked inside the PMG, uh, you saw that we had 12 magnets of alternating polarity. So for every uh, rotation of the magnet, we get um, 12, 12 outputs. So doing the math, uh, we take 226 hertz and then multiply by 60 and divide by 12, we get uh, 1,130 repositions per minute. So that's the current RP. So after connecting the load, the output voltage and the output current fluctuates uh, a little bit. I couldn't get it uh, to be constant because it's not a resistive load. But from the screenshot here, we can see that we are delivering 17 amperes at 128 volts. So that brings us to 128 volts times 17 amperes. So that is 2,176 watts or, uh, or around 2.2 kilowatts. And remember that all these uh, calculations are being done on a single phase, which means that we can get uh, up to three times the amount of watts that you're getting right now uh, i do believe that once i get uh, the pmg running at, at higher frequencies uh, to a point where it can it can generate 140 volts after the step down and then i should be able to get even more watts uh, but for us to get to the point where we get uh, 10 10 kilowatts on a single phase which would rhyme with the ratings of the PMG would need to be to be generating 10,000 volts uh, on a single phase and uh, around one ampere on that same phase, or maybe we can increase the current a little bit um, and and lower the voltage a little bit. I, I I will after I'm done with some stuff. I will try to push the PMG. Uh, to the max to see whether I can get 10, 10 kilowatts to come out of uh, a signal. So if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe uh, because I need your subscription as an incentive for me to spend uh, more time and resources making these videos. Uh, I'm also going to create uh, another video with um, with multiple cameras because as you can see, uh, it's very difficult for me to, to hold my phone and, and do all this stuff. Uh, it gets, um, the camera motion is, is, is too much. So please like and subscribe. I want to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can I can get the, the incentive to at least get more cameras and, and for example, run this for a long time um, and record as I work with it uh, using power tools to make sure that... Um, we can actually test it out and make sure that it doesn't uh, overheat or anything. So yeah, please um, like this video, subscribe if you haven't. And if you have any comment or suggestions on what you think I should do next, uh, just leave them in the comment section.